సంతోష్ విజి రెడ్డి నా ప్రజెంట్లీ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ ఎ సీనియర్ సర్జికల్ ఆంకాలజిస్ట్ అట్ హెచ్సిజిఎన్ఎంఆర్ క్యాన్సర్ సెంటర్ హుబ్లీ సో ఐఎమ్ హియర్ టు స్పీక్ అండ్ డిస్కస్ ఫ్యూ పాయింట్స్ రిగార్డింగ్ గ్యాస్ట్రో ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ స్ట్రో మల్టీమస్ సో జిఐ క్యాన్సర్స్ ఓవరాల్ ఆర్ క్వైట్ కామన్ వరల్డ్ వైడ్ అండ్ ఈవెన్ ఇండియన్ సబ్ కాంటినెంట్స్ సో గ్యాస్ట్రో ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ స్ట్రో మల్టీమస్ యూజువలీ అవర్ క్యాన్సర్స్ ఇంక్లూడ్ cancers of the esophagus stomach colon rectum anus as well as hepatobiliary cancers like liver pancreas and bile cancers so worldwide we can see that uh, colorectal cancers are quite common but in the subcontinent we do uh, have esophageal cancers are the most the most common gastrointestinal uh, cancers uh, so in our subcontinent and in our surroundings also we do get a lot of cases of cancers uh, of the esophagus so other than that uh, we have cases of colorectal cancers that is colon rectal cancer as well as few uh, cases of uh, liver and pancreas rarely so uh, i would like to emphasize uh, on the most common cancer that is the most common type of gi cancer here that is the carcinoma of the esophagus so ca esophagus usually uh, the causative factors would be related to tobacco and alcohol and other habits as well as dietary factors Uh, the main symptoms of this uh, cancer would be dysphagia that is difficult in swallowing as well as uh, chest pain and back pain and other symptoms related to metastatic disease so when a patient comes with these symptoms we will evaluate him with an endoscopy so endoscopic biopsy is done and to stage the disease either a ct scan to rise or a pet ct scan of the whole body is done so once the staging is done so we subject the patient to multimodality treatment which would generally mean incorporation of surgical radiation and chemotherapy facilities so uh, nowadays the trend is uh, to subject the patient to multimodality treatment rather than using a single form of treatment so as far as surgery for carcinoma of the esophagus is concerned so today i would like to emphasize the importance of minimal access surgery that is minimal invasive surgery so this has become a great boon for surgeons nowadays uh, who are uh, wants to operate uh, surgical oncology cases so as far as carcinoma of the esophagus is concerned we use minimal access surgery in the form of uh, thoracoscopic mobilization of the thoracic part of the esophagus also called as the vats that is video assisted thoracoscopic surgery so this has become a very important uh, step uh, so to prevent uh, post operative complications as far as esophageal surgery is concerned so as far as other uh, cancers are concerned that is uh, stomach cancers we can use minimal access surgery for them in the form of uh, laparoscopic gastrectomies so and laparoscopic colon surgeries so mainly laparoscopy would be a very great advantage in terms of uh, the visualization and oncologic safety as far as rectal cancers are concerned so uh, any abdominal peritoneal dissection and anterior dissections laparoscopy can be of great help so apart from these uh, the last would be hepatobiliary cancers so we do get a few cases of uh, early cases of hepatobiliary cancers but most of the cases do present to us in advanced stages so recently we had a case of uh, a lesion in the right lobe of the liver which was around 10 cm in size patient came with a history of abdominal pain uh, for about 3 months so he was evaluated with the uh, scanning done outside which showed a lesion in the right lobe of the liver so we subjected the patient for whole body pet ct scan as well as biopsy from the lesion which came out to be hepatocellular carcinoma so on staging the patient was found to have an early disease which was without the involvement of vascular structures or other part of the liver so the patient was subjected for right hepatectomy and by the open approach uh, preserving the, the left lobe completely so the patient had an uneventful recovery in the post operative period and was subjected for active treatment after 6 weeks so uh, we do have such cases where uh, though the tumor is large in size but uh, it is not involved in the surrounding structures so the patient can be subjected for surgical treatment as far as minimal access surgery is concerned again as i said uh, their role is uh, really grateful uh, as far as uh, diagnosis is concerned so we do uh, do a lot of diagnostic laparoscopies for hepatobiliary cancers so most of the patient presents to us in uh, advanced stages uh, but uh, laparoscopy really gives us uh, an advantage as far as evaluation is concerned so uh, the main point here is to emphasize the importance of minimal invasive or minimal access surgeries so uh, as far as hcg nmr is concerned we have a complete uh, backup of laparoscopic surgeries so so 
So most of the surgeries can be done to laparoscopic approach. So laparoscopy generally gives an advantage to the patient in terms of uh, early recovery so, and uh, early recovery to work. So as well as preserving the oncologic safety. So laparoscopic surgery is here to stay and uh, this is just an insight uh, to minimalize the surgery so that it will be an advantage uh, for patients to stay.